Um, so what I what I see here is there's going to be an offer or an opportunity coming in, possibly from an Earth sign. Okay, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn can be their Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. This is someone if it's not one of those zodiac signs, or maybe you don't know their zodiac sign. They embody the characteristics of an earth sign. They're very grounded, very stable. This is someone who's already well established and they want to make a proposal to you. This can be a job offer or some other type of opportunity. For some of you, this queen of pentacles represents you in the sense that you may be focused on your finances this month. You may be focused on wanting to have more security, stability, um, but at the same time, it's almost like whatever you're doing now for work or career or to um, gain money or earn money, it's it's something that, um, you know, money's a little tight and you want to make more money, but you're also not willing emotionally to let go of whatever it is that you're doing presently to earn money. So... What I mean by that is maybe you're working somewhere and um, you enjoy the job, you enjoy the people, you enjoy the environment, um, you love what you do, but you're not making enough money doing it. So you know that there needs to be a major transformation. You know that you need to either quit this job and go in a new direction, or you need to take on a second job for additional income. But a part of you is wondering, do I really have the time, energy, and resources to do that? So you may just be considering changing jobs altogether. Now I feel like there is possibly a fire sign with the Queen of Wands here, okay? This can be a uh, Leo, um, Sagittarius, or an Aries. I really feel strongly with a Leo, okay? Again, sun, moon, or rising sign, or they have the characteristics of this sign, someone very outgoing, very passionate, they don't mince words, they tell you exactly how they feel. Sometimes they can be a bit, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say completely like narcissistic, but there's someone who, you, you know that the, they are their primary interests, you know? Um, they are very much about themselves and sometimes to the detriment of others around them. And I feel like they're wanting to keep you where you're at because the devil card is looking at this queen of wands. So I feel like there's some type of entrapment here with this queen of uh, wands. And if you look at the devil card, you see these individuals are bound and tied and the devil's holding the string. Um, so I feel like this person... You know, they're trying to sell you on the idea of not evolving, not progressing, not looking for new opportunities, especially when an offer comes in possibly from this Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like it puts you in this place where you're really taking your time and analyzing which direction you want to go in. But ultimately, you're focused on your finances and you're focused on, I need to work on how am I going to make more money, okay? Um, you have this emotional tie with this head or heart decision that you have to make because we have the, the again the page of cups sitting next to the lovers card so I feel like there's this sense of innocence around you also I want to say that you really trust this earth sign whoever this may be um, you trust them you trust them that whatever offer or opportunity they're making to you it's going to be a promising one and um, the Queen of Swords here is saying, you really need to, when you make this decision, think logically, think rationally. Don't make this decision based on emotion, because I feel like this Queen of Wands is trying to force you to make this decision based on emotion, okay? But overall, the overall energy being the Three of Wands is saying that by the end of the month, you know for certain in which direction you want to go in, and you're proceeding in that way. Now, with the Death card here, I have to tell you, Something's ending so that something new can begin. So you could be leaving a job. You can be even, this could be a move. This could be you deciding, I need to leave this home or this environment. Maybe you're living with someone 
that embodies these characteristics and you're saying, um, you know, it's not working for me financially. Um, I can't afford to stay here any longer. And this other person has made an offer to me to stay with them or they have opened their, their home to me or um, they're telling me about, you know, a new, um, you know, complex or a new um, home development or what have you um, that sounds promising. Again, you take your time make the, making this decision, which is smart. It's always smart to, make, you know, take your time. But the message here is really to make this decision based on rationality, not on emotion, okay? Don't let this person tell you um, what you should do because ultimately something needs to end so that something new can begin. Now, on the Knight of Pentacles, I pulled three cards. And I pulled these three cards on the Knight of Pentacles, which is in the center of the spread. This is the room card. This talks about intimacy. It talks about hidden emotions or feelings. So I feel like when you're making this decision, you're not going to openly express maybe with this either one of these individuals how you feel simply because you don't want them to persuade you to go in any which direction, even though I see this Queen of Wands is trying to do so. Again, it can be a home move. Or this can be a really monumental move in your life where you're changing careers or you're changing jobs completely, uh, moving out of one environment into a new environment. And this thief card represents a change that comes about because of it, okay? Um, now, this these cards I actually pulled on the devil. Um, there's thoughts. You're really contemplating what this queen of wands is telling you. And you know on some level that there's some deception there or you know that they don't completely have your best interest at heart. Again, I feel like they're more about themselves when making this decision. You have to say goodbye to this individual or to this environment. Maybe a sad goodbye because there is some emotional connection to this. But if you have to move on. You have to evolve. You have to progress. That's the whole point of life. You can't, you can't stay stagnant, right? Um, I'm going to look at the Three of Wands, and then I'm going to move to the love portion of your reading. Yeah, so you decide to move on because ultimately you're confident in yourself. You know which direction you want to go in, and you have to have that level of confidence. Um, you're not making any frivolous decisions here. This isn't about doing what's best for others. You're understanding that this needs to be a decision about what works best for you. Ultimately, your deciding factor is going to be finances, okay? And there is an abrupt change, you know? This, this card is called Misfortune, but it's actually equivalent to the tower in the Rider Waite deck. So it's saying here there's an abrupt change happening. There's a change in environment again. You know, you have to end something to begin something new. And that's what this is all about. It's tearing down old structures, old belief systems, old fallacies in order to have a significant transformation and change. And I feel like it really has to do more with like a physical environment. So that can be where you work, can be where you live, um, and somebody may not be happy about that, but that's okay. It's okay that they're not unha that they're unhappy. You you're not ultimately responsible for their happiness. You're responsible for your own. And listen to to this offer or this opportunity that comes in from this Queen of Pentacles because it's a significant one, and it's one that's going to help you significantly in a financial aspect. Okay, so you're not maybe struggling. Um, let's look at the love portion of your reading now. I'm sorry if the camera is shaking here. <laughs> All right, the Fool card. 
I like that card. We have the Seven of Swords, the Magician, move these out of the way so you can see, Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, you're just moving ahead in all directions, King of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Emperor, hermit and at the bottom of the deck we have the two of pentacles all right so for those of you in a relationship what I'm kind of seeing here is I think you're ready to move on to be honest with you I feel like you're ready to move on um, there's been some deception going on um, your partner has been deceptive with you in some respect and he could be a, a water sign Scorpio uh, Pisces, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. This is just someone who embodies the more masculine aspects, okay? Um, there's someone that's more aggressive. And I feel like this person is kind of like a father figure or a mother figure. Like there's someone who wants to control or tell you what to do or what have you. It's just, it's just, there's not, um, a balance and I feel like emotionally you're kind of riding a wave with this person it's like you're on an emotional roller coaster but this month you're taking your power back because whatever this deception was you're realizing it this month you're seeing it for what it is and yes it's a sacrifice to let go of this relationship but it's a necessary one in order for you to find inner peace and happiness that's why the Three of Wands is coming up in the center, because now you're ready to move ahead, okay? The Hermit is looking at the Emperor, if you look here. And the Hermit is all about introspective, uh, introspective work, contemplation, um, moving away from a situation to get a more objective view. And this Hermit looking at the Emperor is saying, you know what, this isn't really the kind of relationship I want to have. Maybe I don't want a motherly, fatherly figure. I don't want to be with an alpha male or alpha female. I want to be with someone that treats me like an equal. Someone who um, doesn't have such set high expectations. Someone who I can maybe have fun with and enjoy more. Um, again, though, I feel like you've been feeling that for the past couple months. But whatever this deception is that you're recognizing this month is the thing, it's the knowledge that you need to say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to let this go. I'm going to give it up because I want to start new. For those of you who are single, I would say that there can be a water sign for you coming in okay but um, again you be be mindful of this person you know take your time in getting to know this person for those you know for some of you it may be that you just recently got out of a relationship where there was some deception and you felt as though you were let down okay you were left to hang in the you know in the wake of whatever happened and so you're still kind of emotionally healing from that even though you want to start new you want to start fresh you want to be like the fool young innocent naive optimistic easy going you want to have that kind of open heart and open mind about love but you do need to accept what has happened and be able to forgive in order to move on forgiveness is for you not for the other person um i feel like this person that comes in for you this month this water sign just take your time because they may be kind of manipulative okay and they may be the kind they may be hiding something and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a player or what have you 
It can just mean that there may be some aspect of their life that they're not openly sharing with you, but it's one that if you knew about it, you know, it may be significant. It may be a game changer for you. And I feel like emotionally, they kind of like, you're, you're right, again, like you're riding an emotional roller coaster with this person. It's like, do they like me? Do they not? Are they with me? Are they not? Um, do they want me? And it's kind of like you're giving your power away, in a sense, to this person. You need to take back the control. Own, own your love life. You're the magician. So you have to own it. Don't give it away to this, this person. But in any respect, whether you're single or in a relationship, I see that because we have the Three of Wands in the center here, it's really saying you're going to move on, okay? You're going to move in the right direction. I feel like this month overall is about clearing, clearing your space, getting rid of what doesn't serve you anymore, and kind of like starting with a blank canvas or like closing an old door and entering a whole new environment. So it's pretty exciting, honestly. But there is this sense of transition that you're kind of going through where it's like you're in the hallway between the two doors. And, you know, it can cause some emotional instability or emotional imbalance where you have your good days and your bad days. And that's to be expected. But it's okay because you're headed towards something much more promising, much better for you. And I feel like that's really going to hit home for you um, in November and December, okay? Let's look at some, let's clarify some of this. And I want to look at the Seven of Swords first since that's the part of deception. Okay, so it's not really, it, it is a general reading, so I guess it could be vague, but um, initially there was some joy, some happiness, some celebration in this relationship, but you're having to let it go, you're having to release it, because there's been some deception that has caused you some despair, okay? It's something that you don't feel you could move on and continue to stay in the relationship. Let's look at... Um, Let's look at the hanged man. You may have to move. <laughs> Maybe you're living with someone. And whatever this acknowledgement is, you're realizing you need to let it go. Um because you have to love yourself first. Or you may get some communication that this person that you're with or that you're interested in or that comes in this month, they're living with someone or they're interested in someone else. So they may be moving home. Okay. Um, finally, I want to look at the magician here. Yeah, you know, this person, they're coming across as a lover, but the first card that came out was the foe, and then after the foe, we have misfortune, which is like the tower card, okay? Um, so, they're being highly manipulative with you, and um, it's it's you have to recognize that this month. They're playing the part. They can be charming when they want to be, but... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? It's like emotional vampire or they're like just being highly like they, they take and take and take and they're not doing it with good intentions. And you're going to realize that this month when whatever deception that has been taking place comes to the surface, you're going to see things for what they are. Okay. 
And that goes for singles as well. You know, hey, take your time getting to know someone. Focus on you this month. Make yourself the priority. Own your power. Um, don't give. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve. Don't give it away so easily. Take the time to get to know this person because there's something that they may not be telling you off the bat. Like I said, it can be a game changer for you down the line. So just take your time. You know, doesn't necessarily mean they're a bad person, but it can just mean you know there's something that's not completely right or honest.